Gateway Project is jointly funded by government and industry and it's led by TRL and it's looking at driverless cars, automated vehicles and how the public learn to use, trust and accept these new forms of transport as part of the urban mobility landscape. It's been great to see that Ravensbourne have been inspired by the work that's going on in the Gateway Project with the work the students have been doing to see how transport might look in the future in Greenwich and I'm really excited to see the results of their work. The Gateway project is an exciting opportunity for students to really think about the future and how human lives will be transformed through technology. Driverless cars is a very hot topic at the moment and we are extremely lucky that we have Gateway Project here at the peninsula. We really can experience first person how the research is developing and engage with the outcomes. The concept's origin was a play on the traditional relationship between the building, the car and the user. Each car can be personalised to create a unique experience, whether parked or in motion. The innovative 360 degree wheels help the car navigate around the building and the streets. Our, our design focuses on the um, human factor and the personalization of the interior space. We place airbags on both the interior and exterior of the vehicle, which reduce spontaneous human error. The interior space is adjustable to each person's mobility needs. The future with driverless cars, I believe, is a very exciting project where our students have been involved to reimagine the future of the Greenwich Peninsula and the introduction of driverless cars and how the environment plays a vital role when it comes to thinking about transportation and thinking about people, how they would use driverless cars on a daily basis. The transmission fluid vehicle acts as an extension of space the fluid moment between our urban environments that is responsive to passengers' preferences. A flexible architecture that can be at once office, playgrounds, classroom or living room. By having a fixed number of cars, I hope to create a greener, and more shared transport system. Smart technologies would allow for the interiors to become personalised to each individual. This could be realised through having a database gathering each user's information. Here at Ravensbourne, we've been very interested in the way in which autonomous cars begins to look at how we use the time that we now have available. What do you do when you don't have to drive the car? We're looking at the ways in which those environments can affect us and how they'll impact on the everyday. My concept shop to go is a smart shopping assistant design which actually delivers your groceries. I wanted to change up the way we travel in our day-to-day -day lives which are really busy as we need to get to places quicker. A driverless car that is attached to your apartment, and uh, for example, if you is the, if you are in sitting down on your living room watching the, the TV, then you want to go and see the football match. You just have to click with the app, and the, your car will take you directly to the O2 stadium. It's been great today to see the fantastic concepts that the students at Ravensbourne have come up with, inspired by the Gateway Project, thinking about what transport might look like in Greenwich in 2030.
Gateway 2030 is really about creativity and new type of engagement with technology. All of these what students had to think about in the project and we were very excited that Gateway is at our doorstep and we could really propose a new type of creative engagement for the driverless cars.